this analysis is is just really going to focus on the high defensive line from Real Madrid. I'm not going to analyse the entire game. I know everyone would like the entire game to be analysed, but I just want to focus on just the first 20 minutes really where Real Madrid's defence was just so high, trying to play really high up the pitch, and Barcelona were just cutting it to shreds. And it, it, it led to the first goal, and it could have led to more, to be honest. So let's dive in and take a look. And we're just going to start off by showing the, the team lineups. So Real Madrid played with Nacho, Ferran, Ramos, and Marcelo for the back four. If we, you can see just from the from the very start, before they've even started the game, that Marcelo is playing really, really high, and that is going to catch them out a little bit later on in the game. In midfield, play three in midfield: Casemiro sitting in front of the back four, Modric and Cruz with license to go further forward, and then the front three of Gareth Bale, Benzema and Isco. And Barcelona playing four at the back with Alba, Lenglet, Pique and Sergio Roberto. Three midfield, Busquets, as always, sitting in front of the back four. Rakitic and Arthur with license to go further forward. And then your three up front with Coutinho, Suarez and Rafinha. One of the problems which I noticed from Real Madrid was that their defensive line was extremely high. And often the defenders were jumping out to, to put pressure on, especially Luis Suarez, when the ball was passed into his feet, and there were spaces left absolutely everywhere. Okay, so this is the first example. Real Madrid with a really, really high line when there's no pressure on the ball. But you can see that the defensive line, Nacho, Varane, Ramos and Marcelo, they're not in a straight line. What does that mean? They can play a ball in behind. Coutinho makes that run into that space, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to force Nacho to make a decision. Nacho decides to let Coutinho go, and he's not even looking at him now. So Coutinho now is going to be on side when Arthur picks his head up and plays the ball into Suarez's feet. Now, on this occasion, the ball just goes past Suarez. He's unable to control it. But if Suarez is able to lay it off into Rafinha's feet there, look at Coutinho's position. All it needs is just a quick first-time ball through from Rafinha into Coutinho's space, and that's probably 1-0 down within the first two minutes of the game. Second example of Real Madrid's really high defensive line. Here Rakitic has got the ball. Again, no pressure on the ball. And look at the defensive line again. Varane is about five yards behind Ramos, who's, who's stepped out with Rafinha. And the, the, the two fullbacks are in line with Ramos. Casemiro's in there. It's, it's just a mess. If Rakitic lifts his head up here, he can just play a first-time ball over the top into Suarez, and he's in behind. On this occasion, he doesn't, and he goes left, plays a ball into Jordi Alba, who's running from deep, and this leads to the first goal after just 10 minutes. This is my final example of the high defensive line from Real Madrid. I'm not going to analyse the entire game, so I apologise for that. I'm just going to focus on this high defensive line. So yeah, so if we look here, we've got the... The, the back four and Casemiro against Coutinho, Suarez and Rafinha. And again, no pressure on the ball. Nacho is the wrong side of Coutinho. All they need to do is make a ball down the line and Coutinho's in. And it would be a three against three. It's basically a race if he makes that pass. He doesn't make the pass. But what happens is Coutinho and Suarez interchange position. When they interchange position, Varane and Nacho hold the line and Ramos drops back. So now you've got the, the defence is all over the place again. And yeah, here you can see if the, the ball from Coutinho goes into, into the gap in between those two defenders, then Suarez is in. And basically the, the Real Madrid defence was all over the place and it won't be it won't be pleasant viewing for Real Madrid fans watching the highlights of this game later.